Welcome everyone! You are about to embark on a journey through the universe as you indulge in this extraordinary essence of enlightened, empowered, evolved. Let the show begin in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Just in time. Greetings everyone, I'm Luke Brian Smith and welcome to Enlightened, Empowered, Evolved, where we educate, motivate, and liberate you through enlightening dialogues, empowering music, and evolving content. I know everyone's doing well and everything is unfolding perfectly. And I'm excited yet again. And you know why. Because I have another extraordinary guest who is CEO of Inner Expansion Inc. and a self-image coach and a lot more. But without further ado, allow me to introduce to you Jacqueline Francis. How are you doing today, Jacqueline? Hi, I am doing amazing. Thank you so much. I'm so honored to be here and have this incredible, uplifting, and powerful conversation with you today. Absolutely. You you already know. <laughs> Before I go any further, I'd like to say that I believe that time is one of our most precious assets. And for you to choose to spend a moment of your time in the history of your timeline here with me on Enlightened Empowered Evolved, I just want to extend again my sincerest gratitude to you. Thank you very much for being here at this present moment. Thank you. I received that. Thank you. Yes, yes. So how are you doing? doing how's your week been so far like welcome to tuesday fabulous week i've been looking forward to i love and <clears throat> people that have tuned in they know that i love i enjoy engaging in these dialogues i engage i feel like they're therapy for me i feel like that uh just enlightening and just yeah. very encouraging and then to be able to record and share it's just icing a cherry on on top of the the the, the whipped cream the, the cake and it's, just, it. it's just amazing just I love it yes just I love listening to people as well I love uh, the art of dialogue the art art of conversation just listening to how mm -hmm. not only what someone says but how they say it how they articulate it the words that they use to express yeah. themselves I, I think it's just beautiful and you know, I pick up on that and some, you know, I apply to my own. Yeah. Uh, yes. Absolutely. Words so, are powerful, right? Like what yeah. I've learned through this work and understanding spirituality and going through my own personal development, words are like magic. They're spells. Right. What we say yes. really are so powerful. And you've heard the saying, you know, be careful of what you say, right? Like right, some people right. really when I was growing up, we would say that about other people. And you're like, oh my God, that person said this and it came true. And as right. I start to understand this, it's really about choosing our language, choosing mm. what we say, because Absolutely. you just never know we're speaking things into existence. Absolutely. Words are very powerful. That's why they call it spelling, spells. <laughs> yes. And and I'm, I'm thankful that I'm aware of that now. And I do practice mindfulness yeah. In in all aspects and in regards to what I say, my thinking, and not saying that I don't ever get off track. I just now I know to get back on track. I know I I have exercises and methods that I use to get myself back on track to to uh, counteract any negative thinking and vibes that I might might be experienced at the time. And not saying and and like I said, not saying it, it doesn't happen because. That we're we're human, we're spiritual, but we're human, and yeah. you know the the negative and positive they have their places. But at yeah, the same yeah. time, yeah, being aware of what you what you say, um, how you you know how you're feeling, just being aware and yes, and observing, our thoughts, right? Our feelings, right? Emotions right. are energy in motion. Right. So what we're thinking really will translate into how we're feeling. It's going to allow us to have this type of feeling from our thoughts and then right. from the feeling we're going to take action or we're going to take inaction we don't do anything right and what i've learned like through also studying some of this material so i'm a big fan of bob proctor's a yes. lot of his work i really resonate with my coaches have been um consultants on his like team and been number one consultants worldwide 
And learning from these incredible people have taught me about the stick figure. And I'm not sure if you're aware, if you know what the stick figure is, or if you have no, been share with us, oh, enlighten us. Okay. Yes. So in 1932, there was a man named Dr. Thurmond Fleet, and he was from the healing arts and didn't understand and knew people didn't understand the concept of what the mind was. So he literally wanted to help people understand what it was and drew out literally a stick figure. So it's mm. like a head, a body, I two know. arms. Yep. Like, I don't even have that to show you. I'd, I'd love to just pull that up if I can. And he cut that big round circle of the head and put a line in between it to kind of separate the top and the bottom. Mm. So the top being the okay. conscious mind and the bottom being the subconscious mind. And so the conscious mind is where our reasoning is. It's the thinking mind. It's where our ideas come into. Okay. Our The subconscious mind is the feeling part of our mind, the emotional part of our mind. A right. lot of where our patterns programming are stored. Mm -hmm. Self-image is stored also in our subconscious mind. And when we have a thought and we think that thought over and over again, it gets impressed into our subconscious mind. Mm -hmm. So from there it moves into our body, we get a feeling, we feel a type of way about something. And then that feeling will then show up in our results. Wow. And a lot of people, right, will look at the results and say, Oh, I don't have a bank account. I don't have enough money in my bank account. I don't have a job. I don't have all these things. And they'll look at the results, they'll get a feeling from the results. So you'll start to feel lack, you will start to feel unworthy, and then you'll have the thoughts. But we're thinking in the wrong way. Because it needs to be the other way. We need to think into our results. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. The so Bob Proctor right. created a program. Yeah. That is thinking into results. And at first when I heard about it, I'm like, what is this thinking into? It was just a name. But as I delve deeper into it, I'm like, you got to think your way into the results. You got to create the results that you want in your life through the thoughts through the feelings. Feelings, the yes. Action. That's what I was going to say. I was saying, yeah, <laughs> yeah, feeling connected. And yes, uh, allow me to elaborate on that. Um, I am a, a fan and a follower and a student of Bob Proctor as well. I love Bob Proctor. Matter, matter of fact, one of the first, I would say, self-empowering books, one of the first was You Were Born Rich by Bob Proctor. Oh, wow, and yeah. And then I read, uh, yes, yes. And he's a fan of Napoleon Hill, uh, a student of Napoleon Hill and Carnegie. It's just, yeah, it's amazing. Oh my gosh. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's amazing. And he, he's a uh, big on the, uh, what he calls uh paradigm shifts. Yeah, he's, he's, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh yes. my gosh. Rest in I peace, Bob Proctor. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Bob Proctor. Yeah. Yeah. I think he, yeah, he, uh, transitioned. Last year, I believe. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 It, it, it uh, yeah, d definitely saddened me because I always had it in my mind that I was going to see him and meet him one day, along with uh, Louise Hay as well. And oh, yes, yeah. her yes. work is incredible. Yeah. Love Louise Hay. Yep. Exactly. And it's through these people, right, that they leave these legacies of the people that they've taught. And now that generation is teaching other people like myself, like I've right. come into this work and I've often felt, wow, like I really wish I would have been able to meet him. But you know what? When you're not ready to receive the material, right, right. No matter what it how it shows up, people telling you about it, you're just not gonna get it until your time and until right. you are ready. Right. You know, and that reminds me, and I and I've said this plenty of times. I hope people don't get tired of me saying this, but when I first read the book, The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle, I didn't get it. It was years ago. And okay. I just didn't understand. Oh, what do you mean all we have is now? No, there's then, there's there's few, there's past. <laughs> but, but then as I started to, to elevate in my consciousness, I understood that all those other places, they're all in only in the mind. And we really just have right now. And it's always a, a constant unfolding of the present moment. And yes, the past lives in the mind and yes. the future is just anticipation again in the mind. Yeah. But yes, I didn't yeah. understand that when I first picked it up, but I was nonetheless, I was led to that uh, beautiful piece of now, what I call a beautiful piece of literature that really just elevated and stretched my mind. And, and, and yeah, and it, and it, 
in the knowledge that it that it that I attained from it came came into uh came into use and as I've grown. Amazing. Yeah. And to yeah. know that some of these pieces of literature were written so long ago. Like long ago. This right. is not stuff that are written today, right? Right. right. And to know that this information and this knowledge was so powerful and they're contained in these like books that right. you know, 1930s, 1960s. Right. 1900s and up to today they're so relevant because they talk about the power that we have within us the energy that flows to and through us every right. single day and when we can tap into that and we start to change our consciousness life around us starts to change so when we want change to occur i used to think it was oh go and get the job go and make more money go and do this go on the vacation it was everything outside of me but right. it really is looking within right working right. on ourselves <laughs> right i i totally agree with that because that's when my uh and apologize for if i interrupted you but oh my gosh not at all that's when my true i would say if i had to put a label on it transformation occurred is when i Ooh. stopped looking stop blaming again stopped looking outside of me and started to look inside of me and 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 started to ponder what role did i do i play in the scheme of things what part of me is reacting to this what part of me is attracting this Ooh. these these un uh, desirable circumstances and interactions with people. So when I started taking responsibility for my own self and really started to, to deep dive and his and, and search out, seek out information that which led me to uh, the likes of Bob Proctor, you know, and Louise Hay and Joseph Murphy and a whole lot more. Oh but my gosh, yes, yeah. yes, Matt Neville. Amazing. Oh my gosh, Neville, Neville Goddard. Goddard. Love Neville Goddard. Yeah, right. So I love listening to some of his. Uh, we're we're blessed enough to hear some of his recordings online now. You can mm -hmm. listen to him and actually hear him speak. So you know, powerful. Joseph Murphy, Neville Goddard. Yeah, yeah. So powerful. Amazing. I've been reading Psycho Cybernetics, Max Doctor Maxwell Maltz. Nineteen. Oh wow. Yeah, this book is a foundation of self image, and okay. when I started to understand what self image was. Mm. I was blown away because really it's the image, the identity that you hold of who you think and believe you are right. that's stored in your subconscious mind. We all have an outer image, which is the physical reflection that you see every single day when you look in the mirror. Right. And then we have an inner image. And he discovered that through his work as being, um, he was, he worked giving people like, yeah, facelifts and nose jobs and yes. things like that. I want to write that down and excuse me, please, please continue. Oh my but gosh, absolutely. Yeah. The, 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 the uh, author again, Dr. Maxwell Maltz, M-A-L-T-Z. Maxwell Malt, M-A-L-T-Z. Yeah. Yes. And the book and is the, called the, Psycho the, the, okay. Cybernetics. Psycho Cybernetics. Okay. Wow. It is okay. Incredible. And he discovered this through his work where he would, somebody would come in to fix a scar on their face. And he found that even when that image of them was changed physically, they still did not feel worthy. They still mm. did not feel that they were good enough. And they uh. carried themselves out into the world feeling this way. Mm. So, really, how you feel about yourself internally affects the success and failure that you're going to attain in your life if you do not start to cultivate a positive self-image and start to understand what that is it is really i wouldn't say let me choose my words correctly here it makes it difficult to obtain what you truly desire because you're always going to be thinking that you know you are not good enough you are not worthy someone with a positive self-image you know accepts change understands that they need to take responsibility for their actions and right. you know you touched on it when you said that that's when things change for you right. i think that's the most important thing because me too like we get out of this victim mentality like right. oh, it's not me i didn't do right. it it was them you know they caused this but no yeah. like what role did i play in it can i take right. responsibility for right. me and it, as you go oh, through that right yeah and yes. it, it just that, led to a major shift uh yeah. in, in just my whole 
uh, identity. Now yes. uh, I'm responsible. I take responsibility for the words that come out of my mouth. And that's in any conversation. And even, you know, music that I create now, the lyrics are a lot different than how they started off. You know, now yeah. I create lyrics that are more like affirmations of what I want or yeah. what I know that I have uh, uh, manifesting in, in my experience. And that's how I, I, I create my music now that, that I'm inspired to create, to, to be empowering and to, like, like you said, take responsibility just for, for who I am, for, for my thoughts, for everything, because yeah. we're, we're powerful, more powerful than we have been programmed and indoctrinated to believe. Oh <laughs> I yeah. say that. And, oh, and, absolutely. you know, yeah, we, we have been. And when I use those words, they're not in a negative way. It's just when I say programming, we our brains are like computers. I, I've come to yes, realize I and agree. programming programming can can include and and does include just the way you're brought up. You know, superstitions and superstitions and and yeah. and poverty thinking and fear based yeah. thinking. You know, yeah. no blame. You know, because our upbringing was for the most part in my my perspective was, was done in a way that, 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 that's what they knew at the time, you know? Yeah, exactly. uh, and, and so it, it wasn't on purpose that, you know, I was indoctrinated with, 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 with thoughts and feelings that, that are not uh, conducive to, to abundance in all aspects yeah. of, of, of my life. So yes, but now it's I know like they... Yeah, you absolutely know better. And they only <laughs> knew what they knew at the moment. Like it was their exactly. awareness, right? Exactly. And even thinking back to my parents, like I have all love because right. their consciousness was different. Mm. They they weren't they didn't come from an age of technology and information where right. this is, where this can be shared, where we can sit hundreds of miles away and have this powerful conversation because we were just I mean, at that time, you were just in the circles that you were at and you just can hope for the best because right. that was your circle. Now you can right. choose that. You can choose to say, yes. you know what? These people do not empower me. These people are not supportive of my life. I need to go out there and be around people. You are the average of the five people you hang out with, right? Right. And like, you, you and like I, I mentioned before, uh, connecting with my tribe. And yes. when I say my tribe, it doesn't necessarily mean the people have to look like me or be the same ethnicity as me, but you know your tribe from the vibe that you get, the oh, vibration, yeah. the the frequency that you're you're speaking on, that you're you just feel it, your intuition, your intuitive uh get signals that you that you get. That's what I call my tribe, you know. Your tribe is your vibe. My tribe <laughs> is my vibe. Like I, I consider you and not even knowing you uh very well, but this is conducive of a person that is in my tribe, you know, speaking with you now and it just flows, flows so effortlessly. And, you know, you mentioned like, just for an example, for context, just listen, just you saying Bob Proctor and then boom, yeah. light went off in my head. Yes. I've, I've studied Bob Proctor. I've watched several of his hundreds of hours of his stuff on online. And and again, you mentioned this technology. It's amazing. There's no excuse now not to no. be very inquisitive now. I mean, yeah. we have a virtual library at our fingertips. So yeah. you can find, you know, if you want to be empowered, if you are open to, you know, for growth and uh, yeah, and expansion, it's it's out there for you. Yeah. And and what and when I what I take away from that too is like our souls like we are spiritual beings living right. this human experience in this right. physical body and right. if our souls are here for greater expansion and we need to listen to that because it speaks to us there's signs and synchronicities all the time exactly. that are you know whispering that are showing up but we're just so right. blinded and caught up in the day-to-day -day life right. that we don't we dismiss it oh that oh i'm just lucky oh that was just a coincidence yeah. but was it you know, like we need to, and the collective consciousness is changing. People are waking up. There are a lot more people that can understand this, that are tapping into their intuition and into their soul's purpose. I wanted to ask you actually, being a male, and you talked about intuition because, you know, there's a stigma, oh, it's women's intuition. And right. I also grew up feeling like it's only a women thing. 
How did right. you come to discover that within yourself? Well, hmm. <laughs> I I got, you know, there's no simple way to put it other than I got to a point where I got out of my own way. But, you oh, know, yeah. I have studied masculine, feminine energy and, 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 and tuned in. But, you know, even studying, you know, uh, being students of, of other women like, you know, Louise Hay and, you know, um, amazing women and and speaking and I don't know, just I got to a point where I just really got out of my own way. You know, uh, and then finding the, the information. Up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like and like you it. said, and like you said, another way to put it when you say day to day life, you know, just so many things are thrown at us, uh, especially in the information age, news, uh, other people, you know, they drown out. That's why I'm, I'm an I, I'm a firm believer of, of uh, you know, meditation or you, you put another way or, or prayer or just sitting yeah. in silence and just listening to yourself, really getting out of your own way and, and, and without those, um, without trying to impose your own thoughts uh, from what you've heard and what you've seen, but really yeah. just being still yeah. and just really yeah. just listening and you'll get it. You'll get it. Right. And we You'll don't give our, ourselves enough time to be still. And, you know, right. one time I asked for something and I remember that distinctively being told to me, be right. still. And then it kept right. coming up because right. we get pulled in so many directions. Fear-based. Everything is fear-based. Right. You turn on the news and it just wants to perpetuate this. This is going on. That's going on. And I love my mother. Oh, my gosh. But when I call her, it's always like, did you hear this happen? And you kind of locked your door. That's not yeah. right. Have to have to love them from from afar. Yeah, oh, yes, I, I can yeah, I, see. That's a whole nother show if we t talk about that. And <laughs> I have to tread lightly. But yes, yes there's a lot yes. of things that I've tried to enlighten my own mother about uh, uh, in regard to you know different ways of of thinking and seeing things. And it's just it's it, it, it thus far it hasn't really uh, broken through. So <laughs> I have to protect my own energy you know, yeah. as much as I can, yeah. because yes, it's, just, it's the same type of, of a uh, scenario thing that I agree. <laughs> so when we're around, you know, it's our family, you right. can't get rid of them, but right. like you said, protecting your energy. Some right. of the ways that I've used, I've just switched the subject and people have asked me like, how do you do that? How do you just not take in what somebody else is telling you? And right. really, you got to tune in. You've got to be so sure about what you know and trust right. and believe that, like, you do not need to take that on from someone else, right? Absolutely. absolutely. And change the subject. You and can, it can be difficult. I know. <laughs> Especially I know with somebody you know. that you're so, uh, I'll just be, use a simple term, connected with. I mean, yeah. you, you're connected in a lot, lots of ways to your mother. So absolutely, absolutely, they can have more power to really, yeah, to really get to you. I know it's true. <laughs> and then again, it is connect. It's like knowing yourself. It really right. is knowing yourself. And when you are in those difficult, I mean, you can listen, you can listen, but your mind could just be like, reject, reject, mm. reject, reject. That's what you have like, to do. Okay. Yep. And then you politely be like, so what did you cook for dinner today? Did you see that show last like it you can find a way to kind of ease in a different topic of conversation and you Absolutely. can see and for me I found it's nicely put it in a way that you know she didn't kind of like get it and I was able to switch the conversation to something right. much more lighter and then it took her mind off of feeding into everything that she just heard of because here we have um CP24 so mm. it's City Pulse 24, which literally runs 24 hours a day, which is the news, like the one channel. Oh, right. right. And it just repeats, no, right? The same no, thing. I already, know. I already know. I don't even watch the news anymore. I stopped. <laughs> if I if something very important is happening, like an asteroid is going to hit the planet or something, I'm sure I'll find out from people oh, yeah, around me. Course. But I don't need to watch the news for that. That's just me personally. And, you know, if, 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 there's people out there that that can watch the news and still protect their energy. My hat goes off to them, but I yeah. haven't been able to do that. So I just, I've just uh, omitted it from, you know, <laughs> from, my, you. from my <laughs> visual and audio diet. <laughs> it's not a part of it. Yes. yes. And can we talk about that? Cleansing 
our diet, not just of what we eat, but right. of the things we consume. So it is media. It is certain friendships or people that are around us. Social media at this yes. point. What is on your feed? Right. What are you tuning into? When you open your Instagram or your TikTok, what is there? I hope it's something that's empowering to the people that's listening. You see, I I, I've it. custom catered all my social media. Yeah. So that's all I see, you know, pretty much. 1%, 2%, sometimes, you know, somebody even within those uh, dimensions might put something up that I don't really care for. But for the most part, it's it's positive. I, I get nothing but uh, affirmative life, uh, self-empowering, you know, content. And I've yeah. so I think whatever you're looking for, that's what you're going to find. It, that's oh, another yeah. way to put it, too. So if you you, you design you know, you're looking for drama and, and, and that's what you're going to design your, your, your social media and everything around is drama. And that's what you're going to constantly see is, is drama, you know, and coming back to that, like when you said you, like you essentially seek what you fought, right. You seek right. what you fought kind of thing. And then the subconscious mind, when we are out there, like when we want something, we are literally drawing it to us. And we will right. find whatever it is that we're seeking. So if your mind is telling you like, oh, I'm not good enough, you're going to find reasons to support that answer. Right. If you're thinking that you're never going to find a job or you're never going to get here or there, that is what's going to show up in your algorithm of right. life, so right. to speak. How can we change that algorithm? How can we start looking at the things that we want to draw closer to us that are positive, that are empowering, that are enlightening, that's going to support us in our growth? right? Being mindful, be, being aware of our thoughts and feelings and actions. Amazing. Amazing. See, and I was going to ask you this next question, but you pretty much just this whole conversation has pretty much given me, given us, everyone that's here, uh, a, a pretty good idea of, of your perspectives, perspectives of what it is to be a self-image coach. But what I want to ask you is how did you come into being a self-image coach right it's such a crazy story and right. I love sharing it because at one point I was kind of taken back I'm like do I even want to be called this because okay. so many people didn't seem to understand it but it was really through Bob Proctor's work so my oh, okay. mentor Hina Khan I took her I'm a Khan method coach I'm a cert certified coach through her program and she was top percent in Bob Proctor's consulting firm and when we had to niche down what it is that we were looking to coach on, this idea of self-image kept coming up. It really was foundational and profound for me to go within yourself. And not only do we have this outer image, but it's what we think about ourselves. How do we feel about us? Because that's right. what's going to draw the things to us that we want in our lives or we're going to repel them. Right. So if I can help people shift into an image that they love and they can find the light within themselves, they're going to then go out and create, create that ripple effect with other people and help them find the light within them. And it's just going to be an amazing thing in this world to share with other people. Powerful, powerful. Yes, yes, yes. So before we conclude, we got about, uh, I would say about eight more minutes, but I wanted to ask you about your, uh, what's the name of your, 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 business i'm trying to find it here i just yeah, it's inner expansion inc so inner expenses inc give us a little framework around that and what what that entails absolutely so again intuitively it came to me we expand from within expansion happens from within and that is what i cultivate that is what i want to teach people and show them that when you look within and when you go within your life elevates your whole life expands and all it keeps doing is expanding and expanding and you keep rising to a newer, greater version of yourself. Yes. And I can attest to that. That's exactly what I was saying earlier is that, that once I went within at, at that point, that's when I started, my whole life started to change, not saying overnight it's it takes work you don't just sit back and just say a couple of positive words and everything just happens or it could happen that way i don't 
put any limits on anything. Uh, but in my 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 specific circumstance, it, it's taken work, little steps, you know, Absolutely. of doing different things and and working on myself and you know and and everything. And not saying that when I say working on myself, I'm not trying to project out there that we're not good enough because we are good enough. But it's simple as I can say is that we are all work in progress. Yes, we're under construction. Under construction <laughs> and masterpieces simultaneously. Oh, yes, I love That's that. That's what I pride myself on being. Agreed. Like wherever you are at, at any particular uh, moment in your life is where you're supposed to be. But as long as you're aware that life is about expanding, elevating, learning, growing yeah. and evolving yeah, and tap into that, then you're where you're supposed to be at any given moment. Oh my God. Your and whole do, life literally and, change. Yeah. And do not. One thing is I don't really like to speak on do nots. I always just like to affirm things, but I do yes. have to say this. Do not compare your journey to anyone else's. Yeah. That's you know, a huge one. And say, Oh, they're here and I'm here and they've been doing this. No, you have mm -hmm. to do it for yourself. And yeah. it's not uh, a race. You know? No, it's not a race. The manifestation is the journey. Right. right. It is the journey. Who you're becoming when you set those goals is who you're becoming while reaching to those goals. Yeah, exactly. That's really where the real uh, harmony and balance and peace and happiness lies is, yeah. is in the process. Embrace exactly. the process. Amazing. So when I, when I turn to you and I'm like, look at this guy, you know, he's doing this amazing podcast. You're successful. It's not about what your strategy is, but it's right. who you became. Who do you need to be to be right. there? Because the version of you that wasn't that like probably five, 10 years ago is not the version of you now. No. It, they're completely different people. You have to rise to the level of who you are and change things within yourself and routines and, you know, maybe... Mm -hmm how you show up in the world, right? It's right. always who you need to be to get to any type of change or success in your life. Right. I can even, I can even uh, narrow it down to even this podcast. It, it, it started out as a thought in my, my mind, but I started to, to study other people doing podcasts and, and talks and, and, and studying how people express themselves the tones that they use, the the cadence, the patterns in which they speak, it, but just being knowing to be aware of that took some some work to even do that, you know, um, and just yes, hand gestures, head movements, everything, just how to relay passion and and just wow. everything, not really an act, but just really studying. You know, yeah. if you want to be something and do something, you study it. And then you yeah. embody and like you said earlier, you embody it. So, yeah. you know, I said, hey, I I want a, a a successful, growing, evolving podcast that that mirrors me. Like yeah. I'm growing, I'm evolving, and I want the podcast to be the same. And yeah. it, it it's just it that's exactly what it is. And oh would it be becoming? Right. And can I just speak to that? Like, yes, you absolutely. From your mind. You absolutely. said everything around us started from our minds. Right. The perpetual transmutation of energy is one of the laws of the universe. And right. it really does stay. Anything that you hold in your mind right. transmutes into the physical form. So every thought, like everything around us came from somebody's mind. So right. for you to just have the vision and you cultivated that and you were like, this is, I can see myself there and started giving life to it. Pieces started to fall into place. Absolutely. People showed up, opportunities showed up and you took them. Yep. That's the thing. Like, like I said, like I mentioned prior and I, I won't go too long because I, I think we're down to about I three minutes. <laughs> yes. I knew it was going to go fast, but what I was going to say is, you know, I put it in my mind and I even played around with it a, a, a bit, which, which mean fantasized about it and actually to myself pretended as if it was happening saying, Oh, I'm, I'm so happy. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm at the end saying, I'm so thankful yeah. that I'm, meeting these people from all around the world. And guess what? 
I've had people from oh, all around the world on this podcast. <laughs> yes, amazing. So before we go, can you show tell us uh, how do we find you? Website, anything, share with us. Oh this. my God, yes. IG, it's my favorite place to hang out. Okay. I EC Jacqueline, and I'm sure you'll kind of put it in the notes, okay. but link me there. Like, let's keep this conversation going. Let's empower each other. Let's enlighten each other and let's elevate each other. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. I will have everything incorporated in the description of this segment, uh, your links and amazing. And thank you again, Jacqueline, for showing up today and bringing more value to not only myself, but to the platform and everyone who is tuning in. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. This has been amazing. Amazing. Yeah. And thank you everyone for watching and or listening. Be sure to hit the like button, the subscribe button, wherever you're tuning in and share this, share this amazing uh, message and dialogue, help the illuminate the humanity, help the platform grow. Just Thank you very much. And also check out the Enlightened Empowered Evolved website as well. That's 333empower.com. Thank you very much. I appreciate everyone for supporting me and for tuning in and for spending some of your time here listening. Appreciate you very much. Until next time, love and appreciation. Enlightened Empowered Evolved. See you soon.